This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live from the Telecom Exchange event in Hoboken, New Jersey, and we are just now getting out of the Next Gen Wireless panel. And I am here with two kind of, I, I'm gonna say stars of that, <laughs> of that panel. Um, Chris Kimbrough, Kimbro, pardon me. Uh, Chris is the SVP of Building Technology Consultancy for or CBRE. Is that correct, Chris? That, that is correct. You've got it right. All right. I did it. I did it. And we have Miss Amy Marks. Amy is the CEO and co-founder of Excite Modular. Ladies, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. So um, really quickly, um, I, I say you were the stars of that panel because of one specific topic that you both addressed, and that was using what it is that the two of you know about the industry um, to provide new solutions to new problems rather than using kind of the same old um, method of solving current problems um, for, for new solutions, which clearly really isn't working so well right now. So uh, Chris, let's start with you. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what it is that you do and how it is that you're solving some of those problems. So I'm with Building Technology Consultancy and we're really trying to bring a technology strategy to our clients. So instead of trying to think of point solutions like has been done in the past and all these like redundant networks and you know, you know, trying to piecemeal in old pieces of technology to to fix one problem, we're saying, you know what, let's go about this a different way. Let's talk about a strategy for your property. Let's really try and think outside the box to bring a lot of new solutions together, bring a lot of the right technologies to the table and make you tech forward. Precisely why I wanted to talk to you, Chris. That is awesome. And Amy, um, your same question. Uh, my name is Amy Marks, and I'm the CEO of Excite. We are currently building data centers, edge and micro data centers, as well as uh, modular cable landing stations. So our technology is really that we have steel and concrete, very robust modular buildings that we build here in the United States and ship all over the world, mm -hmm. um, including in the United States. And so I think we're thinking about technology different because we've taken the manufacturing world into construction and we're just building real buildings differently instead of the same way on site, very unproductive and long, over long schedules, very expensive. And we've been able to take what we've learned in manufacturing to the construction business and be able to have a broader reach of our product, uh, a much better building uh, at the end of the day and better designs. So Amy, you said something that really resonated with me too, because what it is that you're doing really is kind of enabling um, perhaps non-traditional customers to get into the fold, to jump in to kind of uh, the data center fold. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Yes. as. As we've seen new applications come out and you know the AI coming out in the, in the future, people are wanting to bring the data closer to the user. So they want that for lower latencies and we're seeing it not just come from the big telecoms. We see a lot of data center developers that are seeing this as a real opportunity for the marketplace to make money and monetize bringing that data to the edge. So we're seeing a whole new range of clientele that are looking for that, you know, anything from, you know, around that one megawatt, two megawatt um, type of data center. And they're really looking for different technologies. They don't necessarily need to build the Ferrari of the huge monolithic data center that they have to heat and cool and that's empty space. They're really looking for a product that can grow with capacity. So they're ready to, ready to start small and then add on additional building space as needed. And so it's just a totally different clientele that's looking at this um, completely differently. Very cool. Uh, something else that's very cool, um, Chris. You're an archaeologist. Yes, I am. Uh, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna. This is gonna be the last question, but I'm gonna leave our viewers with um, archaeology. Um, I want you to marry your past life as an archaeologist with what it is that you do now. Oh, actually, I can do that because because <laughs> so no, as an archaeologist, I studied process. I studied how things are made um, using different kinds of data, and that's what I do now. Is I look at the process of how buildings become technologically enabled, and it's all about breaking it down into its constituent parts and then putting it back together into a, an elegant whole. And that's exactly what I did as an archaeologist, and I do it today with technology. I absolutely knew that there was a marriage there. That is very, very cool. Ladies, thanks so much for being on JSA TV. Thanks for your participation in the panel and uh, have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you. You got it. You got it. Hold, hold on, Amy. I'm going to I'm going to say goodbye really quickly. Thanks for being here again. And thank you viewers for viewing JSA TV. We'll see you soon.